good morning and welcome back to my channel my name is Julie if you're new here hi it's nice to meet you and if you're existing thanks for coming back and supporting me again um, it's Monday and it's currently 7 30 in the morning I got up about half six today um, I've got my kids I'm ready to do my workout my sister's back from her holiday so hopefully I'll be working out with her in a minute um, just letting Luna outside I've been sitting editing my video um, and then obviously it's another work from home day, another super busy one today. I think this this week and next week hopefully will be it and then it should calm down a little bit for me. Um, that's what I'm hoping anyway, because it's been a bit crazy. So yeah, I've not had any breakfast yet. I'm gonna do my workout and then I'll have my breakfast afterwards. So I haven't been food shopping, so there's not a huge amount in. Although to be honest, I quite enjoyed the porridge yesterday. So whether I go for something like that again, I don't know. Um, just see how I feel really. Um, it's it's not a bad day actually today. I'll show you outside. So it looks a bit cloudy in the sky, and the camera makes it look greyer than it is. But the sun is shining, and um, there's actually quite a nice breeze, so it's a nice temperature. Everyone's out having a stretch. <laughs> Don't look at this old picnic table. This is going to be dismantled. This was on the garden holding the fence up, so it's going to be destroyed. And then I need to sort my garden out because it's gone a bit wild. But it's just time with all these things. Didn't really talk to you yesterday after I got back from Nottingham. It was one of those really, really hectic days. Um, so if you haven't watched that video, go and watch that one first. But um, Nottingham was really eerie. Um, obviously, I've not been in since lockdown. And it was just very strange. All the paths are marked out, all the pavements with left and right for you to walk on the left or the right. Um, nobody was following it, obviously. Um, so yeah, it was just a bit a bit strange really. Walking up through Hockley, because I parked at work, um, there was no one around, which is really unusual. And then you could just hear the choir from St Mary's Church, which obviously the, the church must have reopened. And because you could just hear the choir and then nobody on the street, just felt like something really like strange and eerie. You're like, almost like the walking dead or something. <laughs> anyway. Hi, and here's my breakfast. I've gone for porridge again. So this is my health extra B. I've got 195 mils of my um, skimmed milk. I have my allowance in there for my health extra A. So I have still got some of my first health extra A left because I get 350 mils. I've got an apple for speed and I've got a tiny bit of butternut, butternut squash. I'm losing the plot this morning. <laughs> Butterscotch syrup, the protein one that's sugar free. I've literally just got a couple of squeezes, so um, that's that's free. I really am struggling to think. I think it's because I've got so much work on my brain and I need to get on. Um, within my porridge today, I've actually put in half a scoop of my protein powder, which is a diet whey protein. So that will be, I think, two and a half sins. So I'm going to count two and a half sins for this this morning. I've put that in here because I'm, I'm just conscious that my muscles are a little bit sore from my workout. So I want it to help recover my muscles. So I'm going to have that. And hopefully as well, it should make it more filling. So it will last me longer because I think I'll be having a late lunch today. And I shall catch you later next time I have something. So I popped out into the town at lunchtime because I haven't got anything in at all ready for lunch. So I've got everyone a filled roll. I've got a salad box. So this is lettuce, tomato, cucumber. Um, carrot and sweet corn and then I've gone for chunky ham so I'm going to go through and make sure I've cut any fat off but it should be sin free and then I had beetroot as my additional rather than having any coleslaw or anything I think this is probably has got sins attached to it I'm going to google it in the app and see what beetroot salad what the average is for a couple of tablespoons and uh, work a few sins out but again I think this is the healthiest option I can hope for at the moment so I'm going to tuck in and enjoy this and I shall catch you later next time I have something. Just thought I'd show you what I'm having to deal with right now. So Chloe made some Rocky Road. They've got pieces of crunchy and all sorts in and I've had to put them in this container because they were sitting on the side and they were absolutely killing me not to eat them. And then Tom brought some of these cakes home so it's absolutely killing me not to eat them today. <laughs> but I'm going to try and be strong. And perhaps if I have a decent way in tomorrow, I might treat myself to a little piece of Rocky Road if there's any left. Um, or perhaps one of the cupcakes, but we'll see. I'm not sure what I'm doing for dinner yet. Um, I have logged off work. Well, I haven't logged off work. I've just come down to get Luna some food out. Um, but I'm popping out with my sister um, for 
we're gonna go and have a wander somewhere I think and have a bit of a natter um, and then when I come back I'm gonna quickly do tea and then I probably will log back on to work and try and do a bit more work um, I'm currently thinking that we have still got some of the fish in the freezer the battered fish that I can do for the boys um, and there's a fish burger that I could have one of the southern fried ones like I said I've not been shopping yet <coughs> and not got a huge amount of speed food in so I think it's going to be quite sparse on my plate but I did have a salad for my breakfast and I had some apple for breakfast uh, I had some salad for my lunch and some apple on my breakfast so I have had some speed today um we haven't got a huge amount of fruit left now either and one thing I did buy whilst I was out in Ilkeston which I went to the um, Polish shop was this so this says it's um rice flakes instant and the picture looks like it's some sort of like rice pudding so i'm hoping this is still sin free i don't think there's anything in it to make it so it wouldn't be sin free and basically add water or milk to it and then i think it's a quite a quick cook i'm just trying to look at the instructions i think it says two minutes to make the rice pudding so i'm going to double check the ingredients i don't think it'll probably be on the app anyway because like i say it's from the polish shop so I'll have a look and I'll let you know and then I'll see what it's like because um, I haven't been able to get pudding rice for months and I bought some risotto rice with the intention of having a go at making some but if this works and this only takes a couple of minutes it's even better so if I decide to have some of that later I'll show you. Hi and here is my evening meal. I've got one of the southern fried fish burgers from Aldi, the tasty catch one such as five and a half sins. I've got some broccoli for speed and I've got some chips that have been cooked in the ActiFry. So they're sin free. So it's a five and a half sin dinner. Um, I might actually have a bit of ketchup and some mayo with my chips. And if I do, I'll count the sins and I'll let you know. Good morning. It is Tuesday and it is the 14th of July today. Um, I'm logged on ready to work already. It's currently 10 past seven. Um, I was logged on at seven o'clock this morning. Um, another busy day ahead. Um, I'm dressed for work. I'm working out after work today. I decided not to do my workout before work, so it's going to be a hot, sweaty one. I think it's a cardio workout, so I just couldn't face doing that before work this morning, even though it's nice to get it out of the way. So, um, so yeah, that's my plan for today. Um, another head down work day. Um, again, not much food in. Still haven't been food shopping. I really need to try and go at some point. Um, it's fitting it in at the moment because obviously if I log off to work off after work today and I'm not sure what time I'm going to log off and then I want to try and fit my workout in um, I think I'll make dinner it just it's just a late day and also the later you go to the shops the less they have in sort of speed food wise so I might just get a top up shop to tide us over um, just nip out and get a few bits maybe at lunchtime maybe after work and then um, aim to do my big shop at the weekend um, so yeah, anyway, I'm not having anything to eat yet. I've got my coffee on the go. I've got a bottle of water and I've actually got the lid on it today because I very nearly knocked it over on my desk yesterday, which would have been a disaster. It would have got my iPhone, it would have got my work phone and it would have got my personal mobile, not my work mobile, because my personal mobile is underneath my work mobile, like kind of lifting it up. So it would have been a disaster. So I'm having the lid on that whilst I'm still being a bit of a drip. Um, Anyway, it's early. I'm not having anything to eat just yet because no one else is up and I don't want to be banging around downstairs waking everybody up. Um, so yeah, I'll catch you later when I have something. Oh, I did make a, um, a breakfast quiche. I didn't do the one with the potato rosti at the bottom yesterday. Oh, I've got hair sticking up. Like some sort of... I don't know what. Um, it's all these little greys. Um, I made a breakfast quiche yesterday. It's literally just spring onion, tomatoes, cork and egg with a bit of cheese on the top. Um, I bought a new grater at the weekend. I keep seeing people say about how they have the fine graters to make the cheese go further. My God, it really, really does work. Um, I grated some cheese and I got a great big pile and thought, oh, that's plenty of cheese there. And I think I'd only got something like 20 grams. And that's all I've put. I think I put 20 or 25 grams all over this breakfast quiche and this should give you sort of four decent sized portions. So, um, so yeah, it's, it's only a tiny bit of a healthy extra, like a quarter of a healthy extra or something. So it's quite good. Um, so I'll probably have some that, that I'll have that with some beans or something. I don't know what's wrong with me at the minute. I can't get my words out. I do feel physically really tired and drained. I'll, I'll be ready for some time off when I've got all this work done. But anyway, um, I shall catch you when I dish my breakfast out in a bit. Bye for now.
here is my breakfast this morning I've got a slice of the quiche which is just eggs, quark, spring onions and tomatoes and a little bit of healthy extra cheese on the top it's actually quite thin this one for some reason it didn't, didn't really it puffed up and then it went straight down again there's no potato base under this one it's just a basic sort of quiche and then with that for speed I've got strawberries and I've got apple Here is my lunch today. Um, I've got a leftover chicken dinner that's a roast dinner that's been in the freezer in a bento box. So it's chicken, green beans, new potatoes, carrots, broccoli. So it's a mixture of speed and free. And I've just put a spoon of gravy over the top. Well, probably two tablespoons of gravy. Um, so there'll be some sins for that. But the rest of it will be free and speed. And I shall catch you later next time I have something. It's quarter past two and I feel like I need something to eat. So I'm gonna have one of the little bits of Rocky Road and a little cupcake. I don't know how to sin these, whether to say I'm over sins or not. So I'm gonna look in the app, see what a butterfly cake roughly is and a small piece of Rocky Road. See, I think that's probably going to two of those bite sized ones you'd get from the shop, looking at it. Um, so I'm gonna estimate the sins and I shall let you know. So I've just had a look and the Rocky Road itself could be anywhere between 15 and 20 sins just on its own and the cupcake could be as much as 8 sins on its own so there is no way I'm going to have both of them. I think I'm going to cut this cupcake in half and a half of that and perhaps just have a tiny sliver of that and then count it as my 15 sins for the day. Um, I really fancy something sweet and I really want to have a treat with it being my way day but I really don't want to scupper myself for the rest of the week so... I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, so here is what I settled on. I settled on a small piece of the rocky road. You can see it's only a tiny piece, probably about an inch by an inch, and just under half one of the cupcakes. So I'm going to count them as five sins each, I've decided. So that'll put them on ten sins, plus any heart need for my dinner for during the day. So that's my treats and I shall catch you later. I thought I'd just jump on and say those two little pieces of cake were actually more than enough just to satisfy my sweet chocolate craving that I had for today. I've just got to stay strong now and just ignore the fact that they're downstairs. I'm really glad I didn't have a whole slice of both. I think it would have made me feel a bit sick. Um, I'm working out in about two hours. It's currently 25 past two. I'm going to try and stay logged on until uh, just before I do my workout and get changed. And then I'm probably going to log back on to work after, once I've done dinner. So hopefully that'll keep my temptation away. I've also got a cup of tea with some milk out of my Healthy Extra A. So yeah, I think today's going okay from a food point of view. Um, it's damage limitation really. Treat day um, today, I just decided I wanted to have a treat this week. I haven't always, but... So this week I just needed, needed one so I hope you don't mind <laughs> anyway I'll catch you later hi um it is now six o'clock um I've done my workout hence why I've got wet hair because I've just showered um it was the cardio core one today and it was brutal um I was literally like sweaty knees but um it's all done now um feel great to get it out of the way I feel a lot better for doing it um after I did that Sorry, I haven't even like got all my eye makeup off properly or anything. <laughs> I've got black eyes. Um, I have got dinner in the instant pot. So I took some beef out, minced beef out of the freezer. So it was still frozen. So I tried to saute it in the instant pot, but it wasn't being very successful because obviously it was frozen. But um, I did the best I could with it. Put some onions in there, put a tin of baked beans, a tin of kidney beans. Uh, two teaspoons of paprika, teaspoon of onion salt, teaspoon of cumin, teaspoon of coriander leaf, what else, teaspoon of chilli powder, I think that might have been it, and then I put some pasta on top of it, and um, on top of that I put, oh, I'm getting a burn notice, wonderful, on top of that I put a tin of tomatoes and some passata, now the issue when you put tomatoes into the instant pot, 
you quite often get a burn notice. So I did put it in after the pasta on top, hoping that it would work, but it obviously hasn't, I've now got a burn notice. I'm just gonna quickly sort that out. And then when eventually it's cooked, I shall show you what it's like. Here is my evening meal. I've got a load of broccoli for speed. And then I have got this, um, it's a bit like a chili beef pasta bake thing that's been done in the instant pot. So it's lean minced beef, onions, um, kidney beans, baked beans, a tin of chopped tomatoes, paprika, cumin, coriander, chili powder, onion salt, garlic granules, and Italian herbs. And then a carton of passata. And then I've just a load of dry pasta on top and some some water. You can add stock, but I added water instead. Um, and then of course it's an instant pot. I actually got the burn notice and then I managed to clear the burn notice and put it back on for four minutes. I think in total it probably had probably about 10 minutes in the instant pot on high pressure. And then when it was done, just stirred it through and then I've got a tiny bit of parmesan on top of mine. So this is mostly sin free. The parmesan I'm going to count out of my healthy extra A and then obviously the broccoli speed. So I shall catch you if I have anything else.